Welcome to our coverage of Aptera Solar, the first ever solar electric vehicle, EV, manufactured by the firm, which is scheduled to hit the road in the near future. This time around, we are investigating the aerodynamics of the Aptera Solar, which is going to be manufactured in the near future, as well as its skin cooling, air conditioning performance, and electrical arrangements. Not to be snide, but this information has been addressed and reiterated numerous times. You may find the information provided in the spreadsheet that contains the frequently asked questions about Aptura as well as on the Facebook page that Aptura maintains. Yes, Aptura will have both heating and air conditioning, as well as heated and cooled seats, and it will also have a secondary cabin ventilation system that is fueled by solar energy in order to keep the inside at the same temperature as the surrounding environment when it is parked in the sun. Both the engine and the batteries of the Aptura will be cooled by liquid. However, the Aptera will not have the typical air-cooled radiators and slash or heat exchangers available. A surplus of heat will be expelled from the vehicle via the belly of the vehicle by the coolant. Under the hood, bonnet, of the car is where the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system will be located. In a video that was released not too long ago, the founder, Steve, indicated that the radiator of the Aptera is located in the belly of the device and that cooling channels do not flow throughout the body. When you examine the representation of the belly in greater detail, you will notice that there is a panel that is separate from the rest of the body. There are connector holes in this panel. I have a strong suspicion that it was CTO Nathan who made the statement that the material for the belly has not yet been chosen and that it could be aluminum. The electrification of the system, which is something that we ought to have a better understanding of, is added to the cooling system. Additionally, the purchase of an electric vehicle may have a substantial impact on the amount of power consumed and the bills paid. But it turns out that in most cases, it is not the most significant load in a home. New information from the 2020 Residential Energy Consumption Survey, which was brought to light by the Vehicle Technologies Office of the Department of Energy, DOV, reveals that there are three additional appliances that, on average, consume even more electricity than the ones mentioned above. The top three each above 2,700 kilowatt hours yearly per household are air conditioning, which includes air handlers for cooling, 2,775 kilowatt hours, space heating, which includes both primary and secondary heating, as well as air handlers for heating, 2,717 kilowatt hours, and water heating, 2,706 kilowatt hours. But before we go any further, if you are enjoying this briefing, I would appreciate it if you would kindly support this channel by liking it and clicking on the subscribe button that is located below. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates as they are uploaded. I am grateful to you. Permit us to proceed. At an average of 2,363 kilowatt hours, the data indicates that the charging of electric vehicles in residential settings in the United States constitutes the fourth largest load. Although it is true that the precise amount of energy consumed by each household is highly variable due to the presence of numerous factors, it is extremely fascinating to note that electric vehicle charging comes in second place after air conditioning. What this demonstrates is that we should not consider electric vehicle charging to be the primary factor that contributes to an increase in the energy consumption of a typical household. There will be a discernible rise in consumption as a result of this, but charging might not necessarily be the dominant load. There is also the fact that electric vehicle charging typically takes place, or at least has the potential to take place, during the night which is considered to be off-peak hours for power usage. This helps to reduce or flatten the strain on the grid. Assuming that the EPA combined energy consumption of the Tesla Model Y, which is presently the most popular model in the United States in the long-range AWD version is 122 MPG, which is equivalent to 276 watt-hours per mile including charging losses, it appears that 2,363 kilowatt hours would be sufficient to last for more than 8,500 miles in a single year. This mileage does not appear to be exceptionally high. Yet, according to the data, this is what the average mileage will be in the year 2020. Those who drive a lot may note that the amount of energy required to charge an electric vehicle is greater than the total required by all other electrical appliances combined. We are really interested in observing how such a number might shift in the years to come, as more and more long-range electric vehicles, EVs, become available on the market. It is possible that new additions may display a larger predicted energy consumption. Additionally, 
it is possible that the average driving distance will increase. In the United States Energy Information Administration's 2020 Residential Energy Consumption Survey, additional information regarding the data can be found here. Putting in the category of so weird it's cool, the Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle has the potential to become the most desirable electric vehicle that has ever been constructed. Aptera Motors, a startup company based in California, has designed an initial product that is not only efficient, but also lightweight and rather quick. In various configurations, the car is capable of delivering a range of 1,000 miles, which is more than three times what the majority of all electric vehicles currently on the market offer. The best part is that this electric vehicle is within the pricing range of practically everyone, with a starting price of approximately $25 million. In spite of the fact that it appears to be somewhat peculiar, the radical design is intended to maximize aerodynamics, and the automobile is likely to attract attention each and every time it travels down the road. The business thinks that the Aptera, which is an electric vehicle with two seats and three wheels, will be the most energy-efficient vehicle that is currently being manufactured in huge quantities. Despite having a cabin, it is designed in a manner that is somewhat similar to that of a Can-Am Spider, with two wheels in the front and one in the back. There is no clear indication as to whether this automobile is a motorcycle, a sports car, or a three-door hatchback coupe. Nonetheless, it is possible that it is all of these vehicle types. At first appearance, the Aptera appears to be a flying automobile that is similar to the Terrafugia Transition, but does not have wings. This is not some kind of coincidence. The company Aptera Motors claims that the vehicle's aerodynamic designs are inspired by natural phenomena and are constructed in a manner that is analogous to that of a small, speedy aircraft. The company has been successful in developing a vehicle that has a drag coefficient for automobiles that is substantially lower than that of any motorcycle or car that is now in its production phase. With its one-of-a-kind cooling system, the Aptera is able to minimize drag even further. In order to reduce the amount of drag that is caused by conventional radiators with fans, Aptera Motors developed a smooth aluminum underside that is filled with coolant. This underside transmits heat from the batteries, air conditioning, and motors to the underbelly of the car. When it comes to the efficiency of a vehicle, weight is just as important as aerodynamics, and for this reason, the Aptera sticks to a diet consisting solely of composite materials. A carbon fiber sheet molding compound and molded fiberglass make up the majority of the vehicle's body, which contributes to the vehicle's curb weight of 1,800 pounds, when compared to the Rivian R1T, which weighs more than 8,000 pounds. The Tesla Model 3 weighs approximately 4,000 pounds, which means that the Aptera is able to travel further while consuming less energy. Having a design that is both lightweight and low drag is fantastic. Yet, if the vehicle did not have the power to push it, it would not be very useful. In-wheel motor technology is utilized by the Aptera, which is available with a Era 2 or 3 motor all-wheel drive configuration, with each configuration producing 57 horsepower when combined. With a top speed of 101 miles per hour, the Aptera can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds when it is equipped with three motors, despite the fact that this may not sound to be earth-shattering. According to Electric, a beta Aptera was able to outperform a Tesla Model 3 and an Audi R8 GT Spider in a race that extended for a quarter mile. In addition to all of this speed, range, and efficiency, there is also a certain amount of luxury involved. The seats offer a very generous amount of legroom, and there is an incredible storage capacity that measures 32.5 cubic feet. There is a spacious digital dashboard and infotainment system, and the rear-view mirrors give the impression of being displays with cameras that face the rear of the vehicle. There are fashionable touches in the interior that are constructed of materials that are both sustainable and recycled. The range of an electric vehicle is likely the most significant aspect of an electric vehicle, and this is where the Aptera really shines. The range of the two-motor 25 kWh battery variant is comparable to that of the majority of electric vehicles now available on the market, which is 250 miles. On the other hand, the three-motor 100 kWh drive system claims to have an incredible range of 1,000 miles. This remarkable distance is accomplished in part by solar panels that are positioned on the roof, hood, dashboard, and hatch of the vehicle. These panels charge the batteries of the vehicle while the vehicle is in motion. On a typical sunny day, the solar panels are able to generate 40 miles of power, which allows them to charge even while the vehicle is not in motion. 
As a result of the fact that the majority of drivers travel less than 30 miles each day, the Aptera will never require the driver to plug it in. The Aptera is capable of receiving power from a variety of sources, including regular 120 and 240 volt AC outlets, level 1 and level 2 charging stations, and high-speed DC chargers. This ability is available to individuals that require additional power. In 2019, Aptera Motors, a company based in San Diego, presented the first prototypes of their revolutionary solar-powered electric vehicles. The company aims to begin manufacturing in the year 2020. As a result of the delays that occurred to the completion of building on their facility, that date continued to be pushed back until the firm announced that consumers would begin receiving deliveries in the year 2023, although it is highly likely that nobody will have one until 2024. The firm insists that they are on schedule to produce and distribute vehicles this year. Unfortunately, they require additional funding for tooling and equipment. Therefore, it is likely that nobody will get one until 2024. An example of a client who is pleased with Aptera's performance this year is Sustainability Sooner, Incorporated, which has recently placed an order for a fleet of solar electric vehicles. As the business grows, the environmentally conscious corporation has already ordered 101 Apteras, with a range of 400 miles, and it intends to raise the number of Apteras. It orders to more than 100,000. It is highly improbable that a corporation would make an expenditure of $3.35 million like that if they did not anticipate receiving the product, which is why it is readily apparent that Aptera will be implemented sooner rather than later. Additionally, there are almost 50,000 pre-orders for the electric vehicle, which means that there is no possibility that the corporation will not begin delivering the vehicle. An inexpensive miracle of modern science, the Aptera has a basic price of $25,900 for the two-motor version with a 25 kWh battery and the 250-mile range, and a base price of $47,000 for the three-motor version with 100 kWh and a 1,000-mile range. Your name will be moved to the top of the delivery list if you invest $10,000 in the company. This is just in case you want to be sure that you get one. Although the Aperta is not a family car or an off-roader, it does come with an off-road option package that can be purchased separately. It is a two-seater that is ideal for individuals who are interested in being noticed and do not wish to spend any more money on fuel. Its pricing, both in terms of the initial cost and the operational cost, makes it one of the coolest rides on the road. Its distinctive design gets people's attention, and it is one of the most expensive rides on the road. Because it is capable of traveling up to 1,000 kilometers, it is the most significant electric vehicle that has ever been dreamt of. That will be the point at which we will conclude this briefing for the time being. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe to this channel as your show of motivation for more content like this to be published. I am grateful that you made the time to watch. We hope that you will be able to join us when the next video is uploaded on this channel.